In our previous video, we showed how to create a Proxmox LXC container with desktop environment and full GPU support. While it's a stable build and it did not require a specific and complicated troubleshooting step, the problem is that Ubuntu 20 updates will last on April 2025, making the guide outdated soon. So I spent a week trying to recreate the process with Debian 12. Supposedly, the video will only cover bottles but I went the extra mile to cover all possible ways to run Windows applications in your LXE container. In this video, I will show you how to install Wine GUI, Lutris, and Bottles in your LXE. And I'll also briefly show you how to create a Debian 12 with sound, desktop environment, and GPU access. And with that, let's begin. To start off in creating the container, I went like the usual steps in my previous video. I picked the latest Debian available and proceeded to add the configuration. After starting the container, I went straight ahead and modified the source list file and added additional repos such as the source repository you see on screen, and I added 32-bit architecture so that we can install additional package related to the GPU later on. For the desktop environment, I went ahead and chose XCFE, and for the XRDP script, I added the sound flag and a dash U or unsupported flag because the script did not recognize it when it was Debian 12 after installing XCFE. So far, I have tried other two desktop environments. LXQT works normally, while KDE was not working for me as starting the remote desktop connection did not give any output. After the system loads, I navigated to the power manager and disabled display and disabled light locker since I wanted 24-7 active. Finally, I installed Vulkan Tools and VA Info to test if my graphics are working. And after verifying audio and video are good, I proceeded to create a backup just in case something goes wrong with installing Wine. I shut the container down and proceeded to the backup section and created the backup with default values. After that's finished, I started the container and reconnected to the LXE connection and proceeded to install the Mesa Vulkan drivers. This was from the Lutris guide. No need to add the repository, all we need to do is copy and paste the command to install the drivers. Once installed, test your drivers if it's still working and reboot to make sure you can still access the desktop connection. The next step is to install Wine. This is for people wanting to run Wine GUI or Lutris. If you're planning to run bottles, please skip straight ahead to the bottle section. We follow the guide from Computing for Geeks. The link is in the full guide. We go straight ahead to import the GPG key and add the wine repository. I forgot to install curl so I installed it and repeated the process. After that, we do an APT update and install Wine. Next, we need to install Wine Tricks as it will be needed by both programs. After installing Wine and Wine Tricks, we can now install Wine GUI by downloading the Debian package 
and installing it with the package. The commands and resources will be in the description of our full guide. Open Wine GUI and create a new machine. For Windows version, choose 64-bit for compatibility and choose Pulse Audio as your audio driver. You can test it by running programs on the right. To be able to play games, you need to install DXVK drivers and core fonts. It will take a few minutes, but once done, you can start running games. Run programs at the top and choose your executable game file. I forgot to record audio and I had to do a retake, but basically everything is functioning normally. If you notice, I was using an older version. If you're using Ubuntu 20, you can only install Wine GUI with version 1.9.2. To update to the latest version, just head over to the GitLab repository of Wine GUI and download the latest Debian file. I once again used wget and installed via the dpackage command. For Lutris, head over to the download page and follow the steps for Debian. Just copy and paste the commands in order. Once it's installed, Open Lutris and verify that you have Vulkan support and Wine installed. After that, download the latest Wine version either in Manage Wine version section or in the Update section. You can now add your program. Give it a name and select Wine as your runner. In Game Options, set your executable file and your working directory. I've set it to 64-bit and the rest is default. Start the program and the game works normally. For bottles, it's more complicated to get it working under a normal user. If you tried installing it via flatpak, you would eventually end up in a BRAP error. I spent days troubleshooting and trying solutions and ended up with two methods. The first method is through DistroBox and the second method is running it with root. We start with the DistroBox method. Copy the latest script to install DistroBox because the one on Debian is outdated.
Once installed, we proceed to install Podman. Create a container using the latest image of OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. In my case, I named it OpenSUSE Box. We can now enter the DistroBox container by copying and entering the command at the end of the output. After that, it will install the packages and setting up the system. Once it displays container setup complete, if you notice that the address of our username did not change. We can check if we are using distrobox using the cat command on OS release. To install bottles, we are going to use zipper, the package manager used in OpenSUSE. Next, we're going to install the GPU driver packages inside the distrobox container. After the installation is finished, you can test it out by using the Vulkan tools like VKCube. If you don't notice any errors, we can proceed to install Wine and Wine Tricks. After that, we can now try bottles. Just type bottles in your command line and start the program. Once open, just finish the initial installation and you can create a bottle. You can also install wine runners. It's sometimes buggy in the GUI but if you go back to another section, it will return to normal. After creating the bottle, we will test if the game runs. As you can see, the game runs fine, audio is available, graphics are fully loaded, and nothing out of the ordinary is visible. The last step is to use DistroBox export to create an application shortcut for bottles. If the first method did not work for you, we also have an alternative method which is to run the program as root. If you read the guide from the previous video, we can run GUI applications by allowing the user's exos access to be shared with root. But the disadvantage with this method is that you don't have audio in programs. It's possible to add audio, however, it could be a security risk since you'll need to run pulse audio as root. The first thing we need to do is open another tab and enter our root user. We install Flatpak, then proceeded to install bottles with Flatpak. Next, we need to change the file system to our root directory. This is needed in order to be able to properly find the files. Make sure that the files you're going to open with is on the root file system. You can use SCP to transfer the files. Now, if you watch our previous video, there are three lines of code that will allow us to run not only Wine applications, but also GUI applications in general, that requires access to the display. Copy these lines and go back to the terminal. But first, echo to your display number because we will need it for the next step. Paste the lines and execute the commands. Next, we will need to go to our root user terminal 
and export the display number we got from earlier. Once done, we will run bottles with the flatpack command on the root user. Please take note that the three lines of code in the normal user and the export of display in the root user are not permanent and you will need to do it again after a reboot. After that, you can create a bottle and test the container, run some games, and see if they will work without audio. Some programs will warn you that there is no sound driver but will still work even without audio. You should only use this method if the first method or any other methods I've showed you didn't work. If you found this full guide helpful, please like and subscribe as it helps grow the channel. If you have any questions for each method, leave a comment down below. And with that, thank you guys for watching and have a great rest of your day.